Hi friends, welcome back. So I got a new Lego set that's um, the cute little like plants in pots stuff from Lego. The, one of the adult sets that's just cute and fun. And I just really got a hankering to build some Legos. So let's just hang out for a few minutes and we'll put together a couple of these plants because they're cute and honestly, they're still kind of artsy, so it works. Let's go. So these are the flowers that were, or plants, I guess. These are the little plants that we're going to be making from Lego. And they seemed a little bit artsy, so I thought that would kind of be a, you know, just a cute thing to do. So I've already opened the pieces, obviously, and we are just going to get to building. This first portion is two smaller ones, and we'll build up from here, I guess. I don't know. Um, I picked the one that has, I picked, well, I picked, I picked the first one which also happened to be one of the sets that had, because there's three, there's three packs you can do and three little instruction manuals for this set. So um, I picked the one that had the ones that I liked the most, which also just hilariously happened to be the first one. So. We're just gonna put this together and see if my long nails are in the way or not. That, and then one of these. So it's like dirt in a little pot. How cute is that? Okay, and then I'm just putting butterflies on there. Oh my goodness. That's so silly and cute. I love it. I love how creative Lego gets with their sets because they try to just use pieces that they already have instead of making new stuff, which I'm all for. I would much rather use something I already have than make something new. But like, oh my goodness. It's just little, it's just a little, it's a little butterfly bush. <laughs> So cute. And that's the first one, honestly. Easy peasy. But there's two more little plants in this set. And this should be fun. I honestly, I haven't built anything Lego since the last time I did a set with you guys. So it's been a while. And I know that this isn't super artsy and I am trying to keep the channel basically to only art stuff, but it's a more artistic Lego set. So I think that it still counts. It is still technically artsy. It's just artsy with Legos. I'm counting it. Also, I really wanted to build this and I needed, you know how there's times where you just like need an excuse to do something that you already want to do. This is one of those times. Okay, let's see if I can make sense of what I'm doing here. What are the pieces I need? I need this. I need... Okay, I need this. I need two of these. And I need two of these and this. Okay, so I start with this. And I put this on it. And then I put these on it. And then I attach it like that. Yeah. What have I done incorrectly? This happens every time I do Lego, honestly. There's something. Oh, it goes this way. I got it. I got it. That was easy. I do that twice. Okay, let's see if I can do it correctly this time. One of these, one of these. 
these or these onto here. And then these go on the sides with the green. Like this. So instead of like last time where they basically just gave us a pot, this time we are making a pot. Okay, now, am I doing that again basically? Basically. Okay, so take this, throw this on it, just get all these pieces. The other thing that I like with this set is that it's not as many pieces, so it's not as daunting as the friends sets that I've done in the past. As much as I love the friends sets, they're just, they're really daunting. I still have the friends apartments set and I have not been able to convince myself to do it because it's so much, it's so big. I also don't really have a place where I can put it. That's my secondary excuse. And at this point, I've had that set for so long that I'm very seriously considering just not putting it together and kind of keeping it as like an investment thing and eventually selling it because I honestly don't see friends going out of style at all ever. And I could see that being one that's like legitimately worth something in the future. Where this one I don't really see being worth much of anything. <laughs> okay, so I take this, I put this little lightsaber in it, and I put this on the top. Should I put this all the way down? Yes, okay, this goes all the way to the bottom. Then these two. And I want them staggered like that. And then we're going to put all of these in them. Yes. Okay, so everyone gets one of these little branchy dudes. I am no Fred's voice. I love watching Fred's voices ASMR videos. His like his Lego ones. Oh my goodness, they're so good. I am no Fred's voice. I do not put Legos together often enough to be considered that good at this. Oh, okay, so then each of these get a little gray cap. This isn't gray, this is more taupe. I was very hopeful and I think I was very correct that this is just going to be a really nice easy set for me. Okay, and then this sits on top. Oh my gosh, these, and these are little hats. How cute. They're like little... <laughs> How cute is that? Little hats. I love it. Every once in a while, I think we could all just use a chill opportunity to put some Legos together. You know what I mean? It's just a good time. And it's always a good time for Legos. Okay, so then this piece goes on the top. And in each of these, I put... One of these. Goes like this. Oh no, no. This goes in here. I understand. This goes in here. And then this goes on the top. And I've put it down too far so I have to pull it back up a little bit. And then this goes on top of that. Ah. Oh my gosh. 
I ruined I ruined it. That. <laughs> I'm breaking the plant apart, guys. There. I did it. How cute. Now we have two cute little Lego plants. Alright, now the next one should be more involved than those. Alright, first things first, I need to point out that there's a little ladybug. And that makes me really happy. There's a little ladybug. Okay, so let's get started here. Take a black piece, put a little green piece on it. And then we're going to take these little gray guys. My nails are definitely not conducive to this, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> I thought about cutting them before I started this video, and then I just didn't. Just didn't. I could have. I had every opportunity to do so, and I did not do it. Okay. This, interesting. Put this on top. This looks like some weird contraption at this point. I don't know what that looks like. Okay, then this guy on top with this guy in there somehow. this. Okay, then assembly line. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we put two of these together. The one thing with building Lego, you can't really talk about anything else while you're doing it, can you? A wrench, this gets a wrench in it. it onto the side here. How cute is that? Okay, let me see. Let me keep building those. I need four of them. I wondered what that little white thing was supposed to do. That seemed really weird. Again, though, Lego and their creativity. It's just great. I have the whole rest of the set, too, but I thought for today it would just be fun to not think too much and just build some Legos. Okay. So these... Go like this. Okay, and now the next thing, we start with these. Very creative method of building pots. I'm just gonna build four of those really quick. And then I will move on to the next step of this step. Do you guys still build Lego? I hope you do. I don't think that you are ever too old for Legos. And I am glad that Lego has really started to recognize that and lean into it a little more. I very much appreciate it because, man, if I could afford it, I would buy that Rivendell, Lord of the Rings set. You know I would. No, I know. Does it go this way? Which way do we want it to be? Either way, it's not flush. Hang on. Let me look at the next step. 
to see. Well, fine, you're not telling me anything. Can you just show me what this is supposed to look like? Okay, fine. It looks like it's supposed to be flush, but no matter what I do, it's not flush. But I think that's the closest I can get to it being flush. So I'm gonna go with this way. And hopefully that's correct. The next step, we put that aside. I just realized there's like shell pieces. <laughs> I also don't really remember what this plant looks like at the end. So that's part of the fun at this point. Okay. You know what's really nice though? Since going through occupational therapy, I can actually build a Lego without really being concerned at all for my hand for a while there this kind of repetitive motion was really hard on the hand but occupational therapy man super worth it my hand is doing much better for those of you who have wondered I went through four four weeks of therapy five weeks of therapy sorry and was left with a bunch of exercises that I can do to improve it if it gets bad again. But my, um, my occupational therapist was actually really happy with the progress that I made. Okay. Find these pieces. I need four of these. I need four of these. And I need eight of these too. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Okay. This gets this. And then these on top. Four times. Since I finished occupational therapy, I have been more adventurous with the things that I will attempt doing and the things that I will just do in general. And this is how you end up with a Lego video. After I promised myself that I would only do art related stuff on the channel from now on. Okay. Building. A pot. Okay. Now these, four of these, and four of these. Cool. This goes on here, and this goes on top. I can do that. I do appreciate how simple this one is, though, because I'm not really having to stop and be like, okay, I haven't made a Lego in a while. What am I doing? It's just, it's funky, yes, but it's making sense. Okay, now, ah, oh, these hook onto here, that's cool. Okay. Okay, 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 so I did do this incorrectly, I think. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yep, that makes more sense. Okay, I got it. I understand. Ah. And then I broke it. <laughs> Where did this come from? Don't judge me, I haven't done Legos in a while. <laughs> I was supposed to put these on before I put the whole thing together. That's fine. Okay, there. 
we have our pot. That was a lot for a pot, but it's cute. I like it. Okay. So, three, four, oh my gosh. You know what? I feel like I shouldn't actually have this on this base piece yet with how wobbly it is. Because this isn't super, this isn't very secure, honestly. So yeah, I'm just going to build it on this because I'm going to have to be pressing down. Oh, this is where the ladybug goes. Okay. Then what happens? I take one of these and something, this. Okay, look at what pieces you need, Ronnie. Just look at what pieces you need. I need two of those, two of these. Okay, so I do this and then this. No. Wrong piece, wrong piece. This piece. Then this piece. Oh, one of these. I apologize. I can read, y'all. I really can. I promise. <laughs> okay, then one of these, one of these, and one of these. And I go long bit, this guy, this guy. And this goes in this one. Then... I go one of this, one of these, two of these, one of this, and one of these, I think. This gets this, on top of this goes this, on top of this goes this, and then this, this way, and then How this? I don't understand how that's supposed to work. Oh, I did it backwards, that's why. Can I even remove that? See, now I'm thankful that I didn't cut my nails. And then that fits in there. Okay, now it makes sense. And then this goes on that third spot there. Okay, I got it. Then I need all four of these. I need two of these little branchy friends. And I need two of these guys. We are going to stack these, put this through it, and put this on top twice. So this, this underneath, and this on top. And then these are both going Okay, I did it wrong again. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? It's hard to see. Again, super thankful that I didn't actually cut my nails. Was it annoying for some parts? Yes. 
Was it beneficial? Oh yes, very. Okay. And we repeat that. Do this. This guy. And this guy. I actually didn't even buy this set for myself. This was my brother and my sister-in-law got this for me for my birthday. And my brother got himself the same one, which I think is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> we like a lot of the same things, my brother and I. on the bottom. Okay, then this goes in here. Both. And then it gets this other little green dude. stack four of these little flowers together. I swear, this is this is so great that I can actually do this. I'm just saying. I like doing these motions, I'm feeling that this is this is one of those things I could not have done before doing occupational therapy. to not try assembling it while it was on the base like that. Okay then, go in your home. Ta-da! That's really cute. That's so cute, I love it. So we have three little plants. I think this told me what they were, but I wasn't paying attention. Let's check. We have, ah, this is a false shamrock. So it's a purple shamrock. Um, my mom actually has a actual one of these. They're very cute and they do look like butterflies. So that makes sense. This one is a jade plant. And then this one is a lace leaf. So cute, I love this. So I have like six more Lego flowers that I can build at some point and I don't know if I ever do them. Well, when I ever do them, maybe I'll do them for a video. We shall see. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me for this super chill, nothing much, let's just build some Legos video, and I will see you in a couple weeks with something a little more creative. Bye!